Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask on Amazon that I bought. I bought for you so that you could know you could trust your Eglo masks. That's right, Eglo masks that we bought on Amazon. We testing you today, so get ready fam. Let's do this. Switch to the box cam. That's right, we're open this up and we're gonna put it in the testing machine. If you're just joining us for the first time, well, you are in for a treat if you like watching a guy ramble whilst doing a PFE test, because that's what we're doing here. PFE, particulate filtration efficiency. I'm putting it in the, our clamper here. His name is Eduardo, because you have to watch out for Eduardo. Put that down. Here is the screen, we hit the button. This is a PFE machine, like I was saying. Particulate filtration efficiency. We are just testing the fabric here. We're trying to see what the filtration of this bad mamma jamma is. We're not testing the fit, because I don't know what your face is like, but I'm pretty sure you can put on a mask and feel like if it's not fitting right. But what you can't do is buy a quarter million dollar lab and you know test it for yourself. Well, may I guess maybe you can, I don't want to judge you. All right, let's look at this box. I'm all over the place here, as usual. Whoa, look at this. So all Chinese masks come with a quality certificate. They're all the same size. This one is freaking huge. Look at that. Um, wow, I've never seen one that quality. That's a quality, quality certificate. Not medical, you know, fine. Okay, let's look in. I don't like the box because it fell apart, you know? Uh, let's look at the listing. This is funny. This always happens. So look at that, that's a great photo. That's the photo and then this shows up, it's all broken and hanging out. Come on, guy. come on Amazon, stop breaking my stuff. Uh, I guess it's maybe the postal service. Um, see if they're making any claims here. Uh, they're just saying it's, uh, are they even saying it's a KN95? They're not even saying it's KN95. Well, that's new. Wow, that's crazy. Five layer protection. Ah, that's new. Tested like 400 masks. I hadn't seen that before. And look at that. Oh, no, it says KN95 on there. So KN95 is um, part of a Chinese standard. And if it doesn't have the standards name on it, you know that the mask is probably not a KN95. So uh, what you want to see on there is a GB2626. I know. The answer is yes. I'm very exciting at parties. Talk about Chinese medical standards all day long. All right, let's look at the ear loops. Ooh, it's very loose, but I think it's gonna break if I, oh, no, okay, I'm wrong. I was right, but eventually. That's not terrible. That ear loop's pretty good, actually. All right, let's try this bad boy on. Fits pretty nicely. Oh, it smells delightful. It smells like the floral section of a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> What's going on here? That's very odd. Okay, well, whatever. Um, fits pretty well. Construction's okay. It's got a nice double nose wire. But does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's check out the machine. Yeah! <laughs> so it wasn't claiming 95%, so I guess I can't really, like, call them out. But technically, on the box it says KN95, and on the mask it says KN95. And this is not, oh, wait, look at this. It says filtration efficiency. It says back BFE, which it may pass BFE. We're not gonna get into the technicalities of that, but if you put 95% filtration, people are gonna think that you have that level of filtration. And this one is clearly not meeting that standard, so. I think this is a little disingenuous, but not as bad as I have seen before. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you decided not to buy the Eglo KN95 protective masks that effectively block dust, bacteria, and other particles because of this video, give me a like, man, or subscribe. And I will see you in the next test. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.